Hey guys, uh, making some progress on the 6R80 install. Uh, starting to troubleshoot the electronics of the transmission. See what I got. See what I'm working with. Um, so I bought a harness through Amazon a couple days ago. I was up into the tranny. Um, have a schematic that I found here has the inner the inner layout of the transmission. The idea is you have 12 volts come in on pin seven on the connector. Power shift solenoids A B C D E torque converter clutch and uh, line pressure and then you have your transmission temperature and then you have your range selector input output speed sensor so what I'm testing right now is uh, pins 4 12 and 11 to the range sensor input and output so what I'm going to test is just the output speed sensor and see if we're getting it because that's easy to do all I gotta do is turn the output shaft and watch the multimeter and see if the voltage is uh, increase and then fall. We go from 4 to 0, or 5 volts to 0, 5 volts to 0, and so forth. Then we can count the amount of teeth that are on that output drum. I think it's roughly uh, 40 teeth per per rev. Um, so, so yeah, we're going to use this as my example. I had to redo all the colors for the Amazon harness to come up with that, and then the, the pin layout, the numbering scheme 1, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and so forth. It's kind of a wonky setup, but so electrically, here's what we got: There's a four-cell lipo battery. I'm just using the connector over here to grab green as the ground, going into this five-volt regulator. Uh, but I'm also sending a ground up the black wire into the tranny. Uh, the red wire is my uh, 15 volts in also fires up the regulator to make a 5 volt output so the way this works is you need to create a 5 volt pull up to make the uh, the open collector hall effect sensor switch correctly so that's what we're going to show alright so I'm going to show you guys you can spin this output shaft and watch the voltage increase and decrease on the multimeter as the teeth go by to show that the output speed sensor is working uh, so you don't really need a scan tool or all that crazy crap that Ford wants you to do set this thing to continuity so the idea is every time it goes low we will get an audible tone all right so all we're gonna do is turn this there you go beep beep so every beep is a tooth and that's changing the direction of this voltage signal from high to low. So essentially the beep is going to be the falling edge. And if you count it up, there's roughly 10. I got 10 to 11 pulses per quarter turn. So that's going to be 40 to 44 pulses per revolution. I can't find any documentation showing what it should be. Um, but I'd like to use this output for wheel speed, except for I think the frequency is going to be way too high. For my setup, you're looking at I mean, like 107,000 pulses per mile, which is crazy high. This would be 40 times 3.27, um, and then divide that all out by, or multiply that by 825, which is higher revolutions per mile. So it's 825 times 327 times 40. Can give you 107,000 something pulses per mile, which is outrageous. Currently, only getting like 10,000 uh, out of my four uh, in my flying magnet arrangement on the rear diff, uh, my hip uh, with my bracket and all that stuff back there. But so that's just a way to troubleshoot the uh, output speed sensor on a 6R80.